Ding dong, the witch is dead, the wicked witch. Yes, Susan Wojcicki is out. The tyrant has been forced out of power at YouTube. And stepping into her place, Mohan Neal. Yes, a man has come in to save YouTube. This guy was YouTube's chief product designer, so he's not exactly an outsider, which could raise cause for concern. Will anything actually change? Will censorship on YouTube still be stricter than, frankly, any other social network medium? I hate to be the damper on the good news, but uh, I, I don't think we're gonna see much change, at least not soon. I think you need an actual outsider, somebody who has had their free speech suppressed in order to make these changes. Really the perfect CEO for YouTube would be somebody like Jake or Logan Paul. Hear me out. They would probably be inclined to allow you to go bananas with the content you create. And because they are now busy overseeing YouTube, it would prevent them from making shitty content. So while I don't think you're gonna be allowed to question elections or certain things that went into your body, Perhaps you'll be allowed to call Novak Djokovic a hero. Something that I'm I'm scared to even bring up at the moment, but I had a video about him and it uh, got me suspended for a week. But hopefully something will be done about Mr. Beast and his rise to prominence based on false advertising claims. No, saying that if you click on this video, you're gonna get money is not the same as clickbait, guys. Your dad doesn't click on the video of the anaconda eating the elephant thinking he's gonna get money. Hey, it's Vaughn's mom again, so I just wanted to remind you that instead of buying Vaughn's weird pictures online in various states of undress, you can just bookmark his Amazon affiliate link, and then when you shop throw it on Amazon, he gets a few pennies here and there.